Russians have just captured Mariupol and here I'm going to spend in this video explaining the, the significance of that victory and I relate it back to the World War II fall of Singapore where Singapore too is a port city and I'm living in Singapore it is very significant why is that so if you look at the map of Sea of Azul and then you find Maripo and it links the Sea of Azul out towards the Black Sea and of course Port Maripo is what I call a critical Songtian, a critical, a critical uh, city in a sense that it could serve Donetsk and Luhansk the two states, independent states eventually as hinterland and it, hinterland needs support to export the services and of course it is to me interesting as I live in Singapore and I, and, I, and I can compare right and relate and I'm very familiar with the fall of Singapore to the Japanese whatever activity you're involved in and where there is competition the key thing I've learned over the years is that you win by the edge a hundred meters running, you break by nearly just split of a second at the very top level, like competing at the top level. And in business, you're always competing at the top level so that you can get achieve sales, achieve profits, and give you the edge. So winning by the edge is very important. And if you analyze the war for Singapore, what is it that gave the Japanese the edge? Really, if you look at the whole episode as a whole, the British underestimation of the Japanese, right? The, the, the Churchill said that you know the the the, mis, the the collapse of Singapore was really the most shameful military episode in the whole of the British Empire. But the Japanese won by the edge by applying Sun Tzu. But no other way would be would ten thousand men be able to take a country. Singapore lost simply due to 10,000 Imperial Japanese Army. But when you study whole episode, it is following to basically to the principles of Sun Tzu using spine, very detailed spine, at the beginning stage. Number two, element of surprise. And you find most powerfully is the idea that 10,000 men can do the job against an army as huge as 150,000 from the British. That belief is grounded on Sun Tzu. And therefore you find that in business is the same. You must think through, think the right strategy. What is it that will give you that winning edge? And in that search for that idea, for that aha, ah, for that breakthrough, it requires you, it will, come, it will come to you just like that. It needs you to go through deep thinking and deep analysis and understanding the competition and then to shape out a strategy a strategy that enable you to win the British army have a hundred fifty thousand men I mean including of course the, 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 the other forces besides beside the core British troops but a hundred fifty thousand men at the disposal of the British and yet they lost to the Japanese the Japanese only had ten thousand Imperial Army soldiers and I think that that is a colossal defeat and I, I think and you know when I look into history that how the Japanese succeeded they apply every principle found in the book of Sun Tzu in capturing Singapore and therefore I find that uh, you know this Mariupol success and the, the success and of course it's not complete yet but that it is critical because from here with the port to do the facilities, uh, you know, need uh, ships need need, need a port to service for servicing and and all sort of you know requirement to facilitate the functioning of warships, and along that coast all the way down, right? Then you, you could then you know serve an entry point towards southern Ukraine. But I still hope. For the war to end as soon as possible so that it costs minimum suffering for the people and it's the people that we should be focusing on thank you so much